You know, clearly one of the biggest pushbacks to the idea of eating more fat is that somehow it's going to cause a stroke or heart attack. And this was actually recently looked at in the New England Journal of Medicine, where they compared the standard low-fat diet that everyone still recommends to a diet that has a lot of extra added fat. And we'll look at the study in a moment, but it is so incredible that this study was actually halted midway through because there was such a dramatic disparity. Those people eating the most fat had an incredibly improved outcome. Let's take a look. So here's the study from the New England Journal of Medicine in February of 2013. Over 7,000 individuals either on a low-fat diet or a Mediterranean diet with added fat, olive oil, nuts. And the endpoints of the study are either having a stroke, a heart attack, or actually becoming dead. Uh, what are the foods that were encouraged on the Mediterranean diet? Things like olive oil, nuts, fruits and vegetables, uh, legumes, sofrito. We'll look at sofrito in a moment, and actually even some wine. The low-fat diet, since you're not eating fatty foods, encouraged, thing, encouraged things like bread, uh, potatoes, pasta, and rice. And these are foods that, you know, we really uh, discourage on the Grain Brain program. The foods that you were discouraged from eating on the Mediterranean diet were things like soda, bakery goods, sweets, pastries, really good recommendations. And on the low-fat diet, you were told not to eat things like fatty fish and even something called sofrito, which is this wonderful uh, sauce made from tomatoes and onions, aromatic herbs, and lots of olive oil. And as I mentioned, uh, this is an, a profound study. Those individuals eating the most fat in the form of extra virgin olive oil or added nuts had a 30% reduction in the risk of major events like stroke, a heart attack, and even death. And so compelling were these uh, results that the study, again as mentioned, was halted halfway through because the researchers could not, in good conscience, let the people on the low-fat diet continue. It was that scary. It was that detrimental to their health. They said, we've got to stop the trial and tell the people who are eating low-fat that this is risky business. The message here is, let's welcome good fats back to the table. That's what our most well-respected researchers are telling us. I'm Dr. David Perlmutter.